Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and get all the way into the Highlands in this episode and get some of the ingredients that we need for the better food. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I haven't, you know, we got a lot of building to do, of course, and I haven't forgotten about that, but I, I really want to get into the Highlands in this episode and get uh, get going on that so so we can get those better ingredients. And uh, we will get back to the building, of course, too. Uh, all right. So that being said, uh, we did leave ourselves a a little altar right here. And so let's go ahead and fast travel to that location. And then we'll just resume where we left off. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go back down through here. And when we got into the um, the main Pillars of Creation area, I actually went back towards the beginning. Um, and we ended up then doing that uh, elixir well so we could get that final wizard point. So that's where we left off. I'm trying to remind myself what we did. <laughs> Kill all those guys. And I think, yeah, we went down, we went down that way and looked at all that stuff. So we just uh, continue going this way now. We have some, some bronze bars. Nice. I actually started making bronze. I think we already looked at that. So in case we didn't, pause the screen to read that if you're interested. We did all of the reading in, uh, in the season one, so I'm not doing it again in season two. Except for the hollow, hollow hulls stuff, which is all new. Okay, let's work our way up this direction. And we'll have a little bit of uh, parkour and stuff to do in this dungeon, but it's not nothing... Uh, two major. Uh, why don't we go ahead and pop a light thing? And also, what's this? Oh, okay. Thought that might have been an experience scroll. Somebody left a comment about me not breaking stuff. I know I can break stuff and, and get material, but the thing is, is it just takes too much time. Um, if I do anything like that at all, it'll probably be more of an off-camera thing. Just FYI. Okay, let's see what we got here. A nice legendary bow. Um, that is a level 16 versus level 15. Sure. We'll swap it out. We only use bows for traps, pretty much. Grab some more of those tin bars. And we got more bronze bars here, too. Or no, I guess tin bars. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's get through here. Got a little bit of a spike a doodle thing going on uh there is a chest in there uh, let's do one more is this new i don't remember this chest being in here before night gloves yeah all melee not interested delete don't want to take it up space. Uh, what is that noise that I hear? Hmm. It almost sounded like a... Oh, yeah. That, that, that almost kind of looked like a rainbow for a second there. <laughs> um, all right. Make sure we got full stamina. We got to scooch across over here. there was a hook jump up there. I keep hearing something like a like a bird or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I've had one too many beers. I don't know. It sounds like I'm hearing something, though. Uh, I don't think there's anything behind this wall. I think we tried to do that the last time I was in here. Okay, we got a wand. This is... 
a level 16 shock and ice wand. Uh, all right, that's going to take the place of our frozen core wand. Uh, I am definitely hearing some kind of bird screech sound, but it's probably just an ambient sound. So yeah, that was a little bit of an upgrade. We get shock and ice. Uh, we will, when we get back to the base, upgrade it with runes. But yeah, we'll take it. Yikes. Okay, this is the place that has the hook, because we can't open that door. Right, okay. Jesus, still sounds like there's a freaking bird right there, man. <laughs> it's messing with my head. All right, if I remember right, we got a switch over here that we got to do. Okay, and then I think we have one right here that we have to do. Perfect. And that opens up something over here. Got a normal chest here. Got some acid bite, which has been massively nerfed and... Probably not really worth messing with anymore. Okay, those are the two buttons we had to open there. I think there's a... Yeah, I was going to say, I think there's an obelisk up here. Pause the screen to read that depressing shit. Okay, most of the obelisks don't have very nice things to say. Yeah, actually, is that depressing? <laughs> and she willing, door to be open, never to let the stars be extinguished. Yeah, they might not be so depressing. Most of the rest of them are. Okay. Yeah, see, that sounds like a there's like a vulture or something right above our head. We don't run into those things till we get to Kendall Waste, though. All right, so up here we're going to get the masonry tools. And that will get us in good with our carpenter. Excellent. Okay. We'll loot this stuff. There's weird shit going on with the textures over there. See how they're... That is odd. I don't remember that ever happening before. Wow, look at all that copper way up there. I wonder... That's really weird that they would put that up there, because it's not like you can get to it. I mean, I suppose you could if you really wanted to, but why would you, you know? And it's easier to get other places. Uh, pause the screen. And pause the screen. Okay. All right, we got some copper and a normal chest here. Oh, nice. That's actually really good. Um, well, hopefully we'll uh, keep coming across those because it gives us a 20% damage buff. It's very, very worth having. Meteor shower, okay. All right, up there is a silver chest for us to get to. But we have to, yeah, we have to run up here. Now we can either go, <laughs> it just, it sounds like there's a bird right above my head, man. Um, we can either go out that way or we can go out this way. They both more or less lead to the same area. But if we go this way, we can check this silver chest and see if there's anything good in there. And yeah, there there's some weird texture glitch things going on here. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we got a meat chopper. That means we have more runes. Okay, and then that leads us out of Pillars of Creation into the Highlands. And there's a VUCA camp um, right here. Stuff off these guys. 
Uh, oh, do they got their buff in here? They do. Nice. Okay, let's take it. Book of Blessing. They give us a blessing for killing all of them. Makes a hell of a lot of sense, doesn't it? Get wrecked. We're seeing our new uh, mass destruction skills procking there with extra damage from crits and stuff. Where'd that guy go? Get them all? I think so. All right. Oh, nope, there's a guy here. What I would like to do is do what I did in season one, where I put an altar up here, and then it gives us really good access via glider to the highlands. But we need to we need to find enough stone to make it, and we could probably just mine this. Stone's a little bit more challenging to come by in the Highlands, and it's really hard to come by in the Kindle ways. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a flame altar here. Set it down. Okay, and then we don't need we don't need this flame altar any longer. So let's go back and grab that, and pick it up. We'll get the get this from here okay we extinguished the flame excuse me let's um let's walk through here for a second all right oh there's a voca boss Let's go ahead and buff up. All right, we'll take this guy out. Since we got the blessing from his tribe to give us extra damage. We're in the mud. That's okay, a little mud never hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah. You go ahead and do all that growling stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep, just keep uh, doing all your bravado there, man. Need a little bit of um, mana there. Oh, that missed! How dare you miss, Fireball! And he's dead. What do we get here? Uh, that's an axe. Yeah, that's not going to be any good for us. So we're going to do, we're going to do that. Uh, we don't need this extra stone now. Actually, no. You know what? Let's hang on to that for a second. We'll take the bandage just to free up the space. We don't need this shit. Uh, we don't really need those. 
One thing of wax isn't doing us much good. Uh, I think we'll hang on to the rest of this stuff for the moment. All right. He wasn't really guarding anything in here. Now, did they fix the caravan? Uh, oh, Vuka Arena. The caravan quest. Somebody told me that this quest was bugged in when I did season one, and I don't know if I've ever heard that they've fixed it. Hmm. Not sure. All right, well, let's just keep pressing on in here. Uh, we want to start looting things like sage and aloe. Sage is going to give us more spirits. So it'll replace our whatever this... Sh uh, yeah, the Aurelian flower stuff. Um, aloe is going to give us better healing stuff. And I don't know if we find better intellect stuff in here. guys we need to pop one of these so we can see what the hell's going on nothing in there uh, what the hell is this back way over here oh it's a chicken okay feathers are not uh, all that meaningful to us because we are not an archer like I was in season one where we were needed them like crazy. I almost one shot these guys. That kind of hurt. Okay. Take that stuff. Um. All right, there's a particular spot that I want to get to. Um, and it's going to put us really close to uh, a tin mine. And then that way we can just teleport there when we need to to get to the mine. There's some bad guys over there. We're doing ice and shock damage with this new one we got. And we haven't even upgraded it yet either. So we will do that. All right, so we got a save point. There's the bones. So we want to follow these bones here. Take all of this stuff.
Uh, we need to harvest some of those bones too, but we'll do that in a bit. I'm going to do that right this second. Oh, we need some stam. Hello, chicken. Don't worry, we're not going to kill you this time. If we were an archer, we'd try to, but we're not an archer, so... Keep moving along here. We're going to have another little VUCA camp encampment. We want to kind of go past that, and then we'll set down our our next altar. Which, uh, do I need... Wait, hold on. Do I need to make that? I do. Uh, crap. There we go. Okay. There's a bunch of VUCA in this village. I think we're going to try and bypass them for now. some pepper what does this do straight up dexterity okay that's more for archers then okay so right down into this cave here is a nice little tin deposit and we will be farming it for a bit the next little while here Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's sort this. What does this do? All right, it doesn't do anything by itself, but we do need it for crafting certain things. Raw bird meat, yeah. Okay, this, I think if we cook this, it's it gives us the same constitution, but it lasts for longer. Uh, I don't remember that for sure, so we'll have to we'll have to figure that out when we go back. But what we want to do now is we want to bring back a load of tin, and we should be able to go down in here and mine this first little section without being molested by anybody or anything. And then every time we log out and back in, this will of course reset. Uh, I take that back. I guess we are going to be molested. Dude, really? Rude. You know, some VUCA these days are just rude. That's all I got to say. Get back up there. Alright, I'm going to mine up some uh, tin and I'll... Probably what we'll do is I'll mine up this tin here and... Let's... Do I... Uh, oh, man. Did I not bring any honey with me? Damn it, Jim. If we could find some sugar cane, that would give me a really big, uh, even better boost. Yeah, let's go see if we can find some sugar cane. Um, sugar cane and water. Because that gives us stamina recharge. So let's just go look for that real quick. And let's also top that off a bit. That's a, a dead sugar cane plant. That is a... An aloe vera? Okay, this stuff, uh, I guess it doesn't do anything by itself, but we need it. Here's a sugar cane. Nice. Okay, so this is going to replace honey for us. It gives us a better stamina recharge and a little bit more time on that recharge. Uh, so let's put that down here. That can be salvaged. 
Oh, and sage. Yeah, we want sage too because that's going to replace the Aurelian flower. This gives us two spirit for 10 minutes. This gives us four spirit for 10 minutes. So that is now our new spirit food. And we'll grab some more of this too while we're here. If we can find a couple more sugar cane and sage plants, that would be good. Stamina. Here, let's take this now. And let's also take a water. Some sage. Okay, where's the sugar cane? I need more sugar cane. I hear some tigers. Shit. Oh, yeah, did you see that? Our mass destruction kicked in. Good. So that gives us more raw game. Uh, is this a sugar cane? No, those are peppers. I don't, well, here, we'll grab them. But we may not actually prioritize those since that's more archery food. Here's some more of this rub, rublos. Ruby. Real Rui Bloss stuff. Let's get a, another spark here. Or three. Hey, we got a level. Nice. Okay, nothing to loot. I'm not going to break the jars. I know that bothers some of you, but it's just a fact of life, man. Uh, all right, what were we going to do? I think we were going to go with Necromancer. And then we're going to start focusing on... We're going to go back to the Survivor Tree and see if we can get our way up to Dessert Stomach. Delete that. Um... Ba -ba 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 I don't really want to delete anything else. Here, we can delete that that stuff. Cuz I need I need room uh, for that tin. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go back to the mine and just load up on tin and then we'll head back home. Because uh I don't want to be wandering around in the dark trying to find um, you know, more sugar cane. We have enough to, to finish this little mining sesh, so we should be fine. All right, we're back home. I mined up uh, 45 ore because they smelt in stacks of 15. I believe, right? Yeah, 15. So we'll select that and we'll put this in here. I have 30 bronze bars already made up, but the problem is that we need to advance the blacksmith. Uh, oh, never mind. He can make the bronze. Well, no. Yes. No. Bronze. Here. Yeah. He can make it for. No, he can't. <laughs> Uh, we need the spithing tools. So we need to prioritize that because using a copper pickaxe on tin sucks. It's a lot of work for not a whole lot of return. So we need to prioritize getting his smithing tools, which is this one here. 
Okay, we're finished with the masonry tools. Let's talk to, to the carpenter. Look what I have to offer. Retrieved. Okay, he got you the tools. That's great. Set them down, then we can get to work. Okay. One walk at a time. Um, let's put the that out here for now. The plan is to uh, move all the craftspeople into this building over here eventually. And uh, what does that do for us? That doesn't give us. It doesn't give us a new glider, but oh, okay, good. It does give us new storage. Uh, the large chest. Very good. Okay. Um. I still might wait though until we get the extra large chest before we we really do stuff. Okay. You want your crop almanac? Okay, we're gonna need to get that for her so she can make us better food. Yeah, because we're gonna need all of that to get this this really good food. We want um, for intelligence. Yeah, we want the mushroom omelets. So eggs are gonna be important. That'll give us plus four intelligence. Um, stamina, health, mana recharge. You know, that's not terrible either. Yeah, chicken soup's going to be good for health. So that's why we need the raw bird meat. Um, if we just make the bird meat straight up, uh, let's put that there. What does that give us? Grilled. Uh, I don't know. Well, actually, we can... Let's put all this in here, too. What are the recipes we have? Grilled. Let's see corn. Okay. Let's take one of these and just... Now you guys want to talk, too, huh? Okay. I want to cook one of these. I think what they do is they give us the same constitution as the grilled game, but it lasts longer, I think. Or maybe it's exactly the same. I don't remember, so let's find out. Okay, so three constitution for 30 minutes versus three constitution for 10 minutes. Right, okay. That is definitely an improvement. For sure. Um Okay, yeah, so we'll let the we'll let the pot cook those up for us over time. And the eggs we can't make ourselves. We have to have Emily do that for us, and she can't do it until we get her almanac. Oh no, she can do this. Okay, the health regen and the stam recharge and mana recharge. We'd have to give up, though, intelligence, spirit, and just a, a higher health cap to do this. And I'm not so sure that's a good idea for us to do. I really think we need that higher health cap for the times that we get tagged. So we can survive the getting tagged. Yeah, so I think he, we're, we'll just replace grilled bird meat with wild game for now. Okay. Hey. All right, I'll get to you guys in a second. Everybody just chillax. I'm only one old guy. It takes me a while to get shit done, so just relax. We'll get to you. We'll get to you, man. All right, let's put stuff away. Uh, aloe. I think we want aloe to go in here for now. We'll put the Rui Blos. Uh, blos, 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 whatever, in there, too. We'll put the... That can go in there. The Aurelian flower we no longer need for spirit because we're now using sage. We still might use this uh, or need this for some other kind of recipe in the future. But we'll put the eggs in there for now. 
All right. No, that wasn't supposed to go in there. Let's put the acid bite in there because it sucks. They nerfed it way too bad to be worth using, in my opinion. Put all that stuff in there. It's a damn shame, too. I mean, it, 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 it was OP originally. I don't think anybody argues that point, but they nerfed it too much. And now it's just not worth using, in my opinion, and many other people that I've talked to. Well, a few other people I've talked to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, okay, so that can go in there. Anything else? Yeah. Okay, we got another boss head. I think we're keeping that stuff in here for now. Feathers. Where do we want to keep feathers? Uh, let's keep feathers with cloth because they're sort of kind of related. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Metal can go in there. We're keeping arrows in here because we just use arrows for traps. And this can be salvaged. Oh, I think we have a couple, at least one, maybe two things that we need to upgrade with runes. So let's grab all of our runes. All right, we'll talk to you. You want the black cauldron. Okay, so we're going to have to kill a fell monstrosity to get that. And you probably want the loomer. No, you want the tanning station. Okay, that's going to be important too for leather. And what do you want? Hunter from Nomad Highlands. Your Aunt Mor Morwina. Something. Okay. Alright, so I still think the blacksmith's request is the most important because that's what's going to open the way for us to get... Rumors of the Dragon Cave. Yeah, the way for us to get the, the bronze tools. So that's what we're going to focus on next. Oh, right. We we're going to upgrade stuff. Uh, so let's go to enhance equipment. We want to upgrade this. Of course, more shock magic damage. And I don't really care about upgrading the bow. So I guess that's all we needed to upgrade. Do you... Um, no, he hasn't, he doesn't have new armor for us. Oh, this is what I want. Oh, nice. We got it. Okay. Well, no, we got to get the alchemy station to, to build the eternal fireball and eternal chain. Well, no chain heal doesn't do us any good as a single player. Okay. That's got to be super high priority for us. Uh, the eternal fireball does 114 damage. Compared to 85 damage of the Fireball 2. It does have a longer cast time, though, but it does a lot more damage. Um. All right, so, yeah, Black Cauldron. I think we'll still prioritize this first just to get the better tools. And then immediately after that, we'll prioritize Black Cauldron. That's the path I believe we will take. Hey! You got more for us? Thought we just talked to you, lady. About Ikora. All right. So, brewing potions, rattle bleak, marvel at work. Gotcha. Okay. Um. And th of course, this is a. I mean, they're all important, right? But I think because we are a caster build. This is probably the most important, but I'm still going to do this first for mining purposes. Then we'll do this. Then we'll do Almanac. Then we'll do Tanning Station. Um, also, it's about time for us to start thinking about doing the Revelwood Spire. We are, uh, what level are we? 18, yeah. I think the recommendation is like 16 to 17 from what I read, but that's... That's assuming you're doing it with other people. We're by ourselves, so let's just say that we will hit the Revelwood Hollow Halls. Sorry, I said Spire. I meant Hollow Halls. Uh, we will hit the Revelwood Hollow Halls no later than level 20 at the latest. But I want to get a couple of these other things going first so that when we do go in there, we have a little bit better buffs, a little bit better equipment, etc. That's what I want. 
All right, now, um, so you're making bronze for us. Well, you're making 10 bars. Well, no, you're done making 10 bars. So let's go back to here. Okay, you're making bronze for us, but we can't do anything with that in regards to making new tools until we get the, the tools for the blacksmith. As you can see, I've got some autumn trees growing over here and more arillion and stuff planted, but... Here's, a, here's another thing, too, for anybody that doesn't know this. This little sapling here and these trees, I planted at exactly the same time. Um, so it just give, shows you how much faster things will grow in farm soil as opposed to not farm soil. So there you go. Use farm soil whenever you can. That's the lesson there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. Um, all right, let's see here. Where are we at? We are 46 minutes into this recording. Let's go do just the first part of the blacksmith quest before I let you guys go. Grab another one of those too. Okay, so what we want to whoop, what we want to do is we want to go let's go to here. And then we'll fly down to the... This is like a multi-leg quest kind of thing. Um, and I, I know I needed ancient bone for something too, but I just don't remember what it was. Okay, let's buff up. I'm going to actually save this for boss fights until we can get more of them. Okay, here we go. We're going to need some mint mushroom too, uh, which we get in the shrouded areas of the highlands. I think we'll have a couple bad bats to fight in here, but this is where we need to go to start the blacksmith quest. Let's grab some of this and some Rui Blas. Make sure we're on Fireball 2. Okay. Actually, no, let's go with lightning for these guys because they are resistant to fire. Ouch, that hurt. There's, is that really the only guy in here? I thought there was more. Oh, spiders. There's a bad guy. Pause the screen to read. The collect, uh, wait, no. Shipper from Blacksmith didn't come through the trade outpost. Blazing Rockets theorized that the couriers, the Conways, traveled through Umber Hollow to save time. Oh, shit. Umber Hollow. Yeah, that's going to be a little tougher. Um, there's a chest. Oh, shit. That guy's dangerous. Okay, we got a silver chest. We need to get this guy out into the open. Do not... Oh, shit. Yeah, we don't want him to hit us because he hurts. Ouch. What was that? What was I just saying there? Oh, fuck. 
Damage him. There we go. Okay. Okay, we have a silver chest up top here. Let's go check that out. Yeah, right, this is a level 16 Elder Staff. Not as good as our level 16 Legendary Under Growth Staff. So we'll salvage that. Okay, yeah, Umber Hollow is down there. And um, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to go down there in this episode and get it. It's just going to take too long. So we're going to have to wrap up the episode here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to fast track getting those blacksmith tools from Umber Hollow so that we can get the bronze tools made, which is going to make things easier for me when I have to harvest, you know, ore and wood and stuff like that. And once we get that done, you know, then we'll fast track getting the eternal fireball spell, which I'm very much looking forward to getting. What I'm going to do is cut the recording here. Or, well, actually, we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to spend a little bit of time just in this early part of the Highlands, uh, just gathering more resources like aloe and sugarcane and sage in particular. Those are the three main things that I want to get. And uh, then we'll go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.